Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? Uh, this is Easy Pictures to Draw. Today we're going to go over how to draw cute uh, Doctor Strange, you know, because Doctor Strange movie's coming up. I'm going to draw the Doctor Strange from the comic. Uh, well, like a cute version of the one from the comic. So we're going to go over this really quick, uh, hopefully. And I'm going to be using colored pencils, which I'll introduce. And I'm going to be using this marker. This is a Faber Castell uh, PITT artist pen. Big brush, black, 199. I read all the info. I love it. It's awesome. Uh, doesn't smell bad. I'll try to link it below. And uh, every time you buy that, I'll get a small kickback because it's on Amazon. Uh, so there you go. Anyways, let me start right here. I'm gonna actually do an under sketch for this one because this design's a little. It, it's a complicated-ish. Not really though. So I'm gonna do a very quick under sketch of the body. Under sketch just to throw underneath my drawing, you know. Just like, you know, very simplistic. I want a big head on him though, because I think that's, you know, kind of cute. On the cape. And it's just a way for me to, um, you know, see I put this over it. I don't know if you can see it, but I can definitely see a vague representation of a figure, so. I'm going to start with the eyes. Should be upside down use. Mouth. You gotta have a mustache here, like sometimes he's a goatee, sometimes he's a mustache. Very important. Nothing too wild there. He's got these little points inside of his hair, and I'm just flatten it out. Essentially, has like slick back hair. It's a little different though because this character is not going to have ears because... Alrighty, and let's go to the little circle amulet on this chest. Cartoon version has it. Or the uh, comic book version. And then... His hand? Go down. Other hand, kind of like a teddy bear's hand. End of his shirt. His feet, almost like he's floating. He's gonna have that like teddy bear like feet, but he's wearing black pants and black shoes normally. And keeps gonna connect up top. He has gloves. Only has like a belt and sash. comes from the top as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through, give it a thicker contour line.
and now I am going to color, give him a little bit of color. So let me do that. Actually, I'm gonna probably uh, fill in his hair. He has a gray through, a gray streak through his hair. In most designs. yellow first and this is a Rose Art brand lemon uh, yellow and the belt there's a the gloves are pretty yellow now I'm gonna use the red on his cape He, had this, he has a design in this cape, but I'm probably going to edit that out for simplicity's sake. Be careful when you use these, because this is the way I think you can real, very easily get carpal tunnel by pushing down very hard on colored pencils. Also go to the top here because the cape kind of wraps around as well. Mouth is open, so it's tongue there. And we'll have a blue for the shirt. There is a design on the shirt, and I'm gonna probably put it in here. This is a navy blue, by the way. And the last color of the red was actually maroon. It wasn't actually quite red. And you could lightly fill in this because it is an indication of that symbol, not an exact one. I'm going to grab one more color. I'm going to grab one more color for the skin tone because I forgot to grab that. And I always kind of, I always forget to grab that color. I usually grab a soft peach or True orange, but here you go. I'm gonna do a soft peach. And there you go. That would be it. That would be a cute Doctor Strange. Uh, you know, hopefully it wasn't uh, too long of a demo. That went pretty quick on the color because it's a demonstration purposes. But hopefully that's simple enough to follow and I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you liked it, please, please, please remember to share the video because that is awesome. It's so awesome when people do that because it uh, that's actually the thing that helps me the most. Um, thanks a lot guys. I will see you next time.